how pivotal was it for you to have your old man as like a, a mentor for you? It was the growing best. up. Yeah, the best. Like legit, like is it the, growing up? Was it one ear out the other, and then it got a little bit more? You took more of his of his advice, like when you got closer to college, or how was that? How was that relationship with him growing up? We uh, so I have three brothers, and I, I'm I'm number two, and we all we all play football and all you know played a bunch of different sports, but um, it was such an advantage, man. Like we could go to him with anything, and he was never like, hey, you got to. He was tough, man. We had a t- it was. We grew up great, but we, you know, by any means were the farthest things from spoiled. And it was hard at times, but we had so much fun, man. Like, we, I did everything with my brothers. And my older brother kicked my ass every single day in everything we did. And it was, it was so good for me. And, um, and having my dad, you know, obviously as an outlet at any time we wanted was, was great. I think not just for like, hey, man, you know, if you're running a route in under 15 yards, you should never take more than three steps when you break and like different things like that and how to cut and how to plant and how to do this and that. It was more like the emotional side of it and how to handle your emotions when things happen. Cause we were all, we were always really competitive. We never needed like a, Hey man, you got to try harder. It was always really important to us. Um, so that was never like, he didn't, you know, he's big on effort and grades and all these things, but I think like how to handle your business and how to, you know, deal with emotions when you're on the field was was important for me to learn at a young age because if I didn't have him I don't know you know I don't know what would have happened I gotta follow up you mentioned it being um like it was hard at times like what were the hard times and when I say hard how the old man was tough on you it's like hard as a you know when you're a kid like it, it was like now it's not hard taping like, balls to you hard as you can hold on to it maybe no, like, you appreciate it looking we back would get now, grounded but... for real if you got jersey tackle like i'm talking yeah. like seven eight years old if you got jersey you know you wear the big jerseys yeah like, you, you get grounded if you get jersey tackle. oh really tackle so at see, seven eight years old you're ground depot tape that double-sided tape i'm eight and double side tape my pads this is you know they didn't have the velcro and double side tape my pads. I never got. I was running through everybody. No jersey tackles ever. You know, he would cut like certain slits in the pant to give you like more knee flexion, like back in the day. At eight years he old, had us doing like dynamic warm ups, dude. No sodas. Bedtime seven thirty. Oh yeah, like he would take. They would take our phone until I left for high school at like a time. He's gonna hate me for saying all this, but it works. <laughs> if he listen, yeah, I mean, if he, I don't know if he's gonna listen to it, but. But yeah, like that's, that's how it was. Like we, we, you know, when diet was always important, sleep was always. Now we were kids, man. Like we could go over to the friend's house. It wasn't like a, you know, like anything like that. But when it came to foot to sports and to school, it was hey, if you want to to be here, here are the things that you need to do. Like, <laughs> like Friday in my off periods, like he would come pick me up. When I was in high school. We we go, you know, like go off get an period IV. in the middle of the day. Middle of the day, get an IV. What? Oh yeah, we're get we're getting just saline IVs game day. Because I remember one game I cramped. I cramped against Grandview High School, like my sophomore year, first game in the fourth quarter. Calf cramps, double calf cramps. He's like, you're never like, cramping never again. again. IVs never cramped again. Oh yeah, and I, I like even like little things like you're wearing jeans. Like our, my school is a private school. You had you wear jeans or, or you know no sweats, whatever. You wearing jeans to school? He doesn't even remember this, but I remember it pretty heavy on the legs don't you think like <laughs> oh, no. like oh, you're kind of right wore sweats got in trouble didn't he's like look dude you got to be comfy during the day you got to be relaxed like this is how you act on a game day like this is what you do like all that pep rally shit like don't be yelling don't be losing your voice when you're out in the sun if you squint you're wasting energy like make sure you had like i'm talking and i didn't realize so like people who like know me now and they see how, you know, taking how I take care of my body and like the warm ups and all these stuff. It's like that's been like bred in us since I was a kid. Like it's been taught to us for the longest Details. time. Like, hey, this is, and that's what he did. And he was over the top. Like, there's guys in his team who were like, what the hell is this guy? This guy's nuts. But, you know, I mean, I always felt like I had a chip on my shoulder and people were going to count me out. And so I was going to do everything human, go to weigh in at like the washing. I mean, everybody did this, but like, I go on my Washington visit. I think I was like one eight. I had to be one eighty two, something like that. That's how much I weighed. And uh, he put like we put like little 10, 10 pound like slit squares in my shoes or in my socks in case they made me take my shoes off. 
so that if you take your shoes off, you know, obviously they're still in your socks. Mm -hmm. And I ended up weighing like 198. I had like a thick pair of puffy jeans on, like the whole nine. I mean, every trick in the Brother. book that you could think of. The NFL visit he was to aware. No, to, to no, the, the University of Washington. University oh. of Washington. <laughs> so your dad knew you were going pro the minute you came out of the womb. When, when the coaches, when the college coaches would come to my high school, and like I, I was never small, so to say, but I was always, people would say I'm small. Like, for you know, I wasn't 230. But he's like, when the coaches come, like, you got to go knock out like 25 in the bathroom. Like, so I would be doing push-ups, bathroom floor, curls, and with my backpack before like, you know, some QC from, you know, Tennessee would come by. It has no, he's not going to offer me at all anyway. But I would, my veins are popping out. I'm like, coach, nice to meet you. Like, yeah. how you doing? Like the <laughs> yeah. whole nine. Yo, oh, that's yeah, hilarious, yeah, man, bro. The whole nine. 